internal and external are united. In Tai Chi, one is training the spirit. The spirit is the leader and the body follows its orders. If one is able to raise the spirit of vitality, one will be able to deport oneself lightly and with agility. The form is none other than empty, full, open, and closed. What is called open is not only the opening of the hands and feet, the mind and intent also open with them accordingly. When able to unite inner with outer as one chi, then there is complete continuity. So essential number eight, internal and external are united. This is really, it sounds a little out there, but it's very, uh, it can be condensed into the thought of being in the moment, of having your thoughts and your actions being completely united. In other words, you're not thinking about your grocery list as you're trying to do your Tai Chi. You're, you are uniting your thoughts, your mind, your intent with your action. And doesn't that sound exactly like the six harmonies? And it is. The three external harmonies, the hands harmonizing with the feet, the elbows harmonizing with the knees, the shoulders harmonizing with the hips. And that rolls into the three internal harmonies where it talks about the heart moving into intent. And the heart is the, the spirit. We're not talking about spirit as in your soul, but in the heart to do something. So that heart moves into intent and intent moves into energy and energy moves into action. So all of these things roll together, which if you are accomplished at doing that, then you truly get into the meditative effect of Tai Chi, movement meditation or meditation in motion. And by being able to do that, you're going to get more of the benefits of Tai Chi. And one of those benefits is being able to deal with the constant stress in our lives. Being able to get into the movement meditation, being completely focused, being in the moment, is gonna give your body the break that it needs from the stress and help it heal. So today is gonna to be a little different. We're gonna do one movement, part the wild horse's mane, and we're going to try to get ourselves thinking about the movement, being in the moment completely with the movement and unifying the internal and the external. So I'm actually gonna move this direction forward with that part the wild horse's mane. And as you're practicing with me, I want you to first think about substantial and insubstantial, that idea of empty and full. Remember the essential says the form is none other than empty and full. So as you hold the ball to the right, stepping out, part the wild horse's mane. Think, put your mind on your substantial and insubstantial. You're empty and full, and start to feel how the body moves through that empty and full, almost like water flowing. Good. Now, as you step backwards, I want you to think about your empty and full. Just like we would with Repulse the Monkey. But now put your mind on the intent of this gathering of the energy as you hold the ball and the release of the energy. 
you're still feeling that water flowing, that empty and full, but you're gathering the energy and releasing the energy. You have to gather first before you can release it into your opponent. So putting your mind on the intent of this movement against your opponent, thinking where that energy is flowing, start to put it together with last week's upper and lower follow one another. How we have to have a coordinated movement. One more step. Good. Now I actually want you to do your repulse the monkey as we go backwards now. Again, thinking about the intent, letting your arms be relaxed, letting the Dantian be the ruler. Now holding that ball to the right, upper and lower follow one another. That was essential number seven. Think about being rooted and grounded in the feet, stabilized through the legs, commanded by the waist, and expressed through the hands. Let your mind lead that energy through the motion. Remember the Dantian is the commander, but your mind has to be involved with the motion leading that energy. One more step. And now go backwards with that same idea rooted in the feet stabilized through the legs, commanded by the waist, expressed through the hands. The incredible power of Tai Chi, like iron within cotton. Now taking a nice deep breath in as you gather this energy, and then breathing out as you release. Breathing in. Breathing out as you release that energy into your opponent. Let your breathing help you with this intent. Follow the intent with that breathing. One more step. And now going back with your repulse the monkey, I want you to think about being light and agile. It's part of being having iron within cotton. It's power but you're light and you're agile. Taking a nice deep breath in, part the wild horse's mane. Feel the energy from the ground coming up through your legs, through the Dantian. Think about how your feet are harmonizing with your hands. Your elbows harmonize with the knees. The shoulders harmonize with the hips. And if we can get the internal to harmonize with the external, 
that heart will flow into the intent, intent flows into the energy, and all of this is focused on the action. Repulse the monkey going back. Don't lose the feeling of the substantial and insubstantial. You're empty and full. One more. Good. Now I want you to just stand. Let your feet feel the ground. Remember the idea of being suspended from the crown of your head. Let the shoulders relax. All of our focus is on our Tai Chi. Taking a nice deep breath in. Breathe it out, sink a little bit further. And open. Preparation, drawing that energy up, letting the shoulders be relaxed, drop the elbows. Gather the energy, take a nice deep breath in, part the wild horse's mane. Part the wild horse's mane. Part the wild horse's mane. Stepping up, white crane spreads its wings. Feel how that left foot is empty. As you gather the energy to come into your brush knee. Brush knee. One more brush knee. Play the guitar. Allow your body to be relaxed. Repulse the monkey. Thinking about your substantial and insubstantial. And now ward off. Grasp the bird's tail. Let the Dantian lead this motion. Your hands are just following. Letting that energy be expressed through the hands. Ward off, grasp the bird's tail, roll back, rotate and press, pushing chi. Coming into your single whip, wave hands like clouds. Think about the harmony of your hands and feet. Single whip. High pat on horse. Kick smash and box the ears. Let that right leg become completely empty. Turning, kicking left, snake creeps. Think of yourself as light and agile. Thinking of the circular motion, the snake creeps turning into that pheasant stance. 
Fair Lady works the shuttle. Fair Lady works the shuttle. Pick the needle up from the sea bottom. Fan through the back. Turning, using this rotation into your deflect, intercept, and punch. Thinking of the intent of that mo motion against your opponent. Pushing chi. How effective this is against your opponent. Return the tiger to the mountain. And close. Mm -hmm.